Hey everybody, it's Allie, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. If you knew what was going on here right now, you would understand. I have left the former place of business that I worked at, and I have been constructing a new place on my property to work. So, which is a good thing for the channel because I will also be able to be filming in there and I'm going to be working from home, which is so good and I'm so happy about it. But today, let's get down to business because I have a Timu haul and I also have two other packages that I've had for seriously like six weeks now and I have not opened them. So that will be in the next video, but I got to get this filmed. Um, I can't wait to see what's inside the boxes, but for right now, I did open the Timu haul because I needed something out of there. Um, and then let me show you what I got, okay? Here we go. This right here is a little Lazy Susan turnstile thing. It's all plastic, but honestly, it's really well built. And I thought this would be something that would be practical for when you're painting or also for for filming so when I bring the camera down and I want to do like a little uh, clip where you see all sides of whatever miniature it is um, I'll be able to do that and it's it's white it's a little too bright for me so I might get like maybe just cut a circle of paper and or something scrapbook paper or something that can just fit over top of it that's not so glaring. So that is my first item and it's pretty awesome. So if you've been looking for something like that, it, it was like maybe five bucks. Excuse the paper rattling. This is, yes, another bookcase for the library. I, uh, yeah, I felt like it wasn't library enough. It didn't have enough shelves for enough things. Um, so I did go ahead and get this. This I think was three and change. Um, it's pretty good. I think the shelves are kind of like dipping forward a little bit. Um, but it's nice and I'll, I'll just paint it up. Um, I doubt that I will. It has some nice detail along the top. I doubt I will really jazz this one up at all. It's really just going to be just full of books. So there is that. Excuse me, Linguini, get out of the Timu bag. Oh, I'm sorry. The cats are, are really going to be in the way today. The construction going out on outside is really flipping everybody out. So anyway, this was a big fail. And I'm kind of disappointed about it, but I should have expected it. I did not read the size. It didn't... It, I Actually, I'm lying. I think it said 112 scale. I think I went back and looked. But it is clearly not 112 scale. It's, it's half scale at best. I, I mean, it's really tiny. And of course, I got two of them. Um, I was looking to do like a 50s style kitchen. Um, yeah, and while they're really nice and they're cute, and they're little metal, they're just not gonna work. They're just too small. So, off they go back into their boxes to be stored until maybe one day I need them. Uh, I do eventually intend to work in half scale on like maybe one project. I'd like to get one of the, uh, like maybe the Fairfield or something like that. Then I got this. These are, it's not my favorite color, and I'm sorry about the crinkling. I'll just do it quick. These are for soaking your nails. But I am going to use them for paint palettes. Because I have no nails, um, I did try to 
have my nails done regularly in the beginning of the year and it actually just made them worse so I'm in the process now of growing them out again but yeah it comes with two so that you can do you know sit there and soak off your nails or whatever but um, yeah I'm going to use them as palettes and they only came in pink or I would have chose otherwise again probably a dollar fifty maybe for two of them moving along this is just a little brush um, it's a little it's made of bamboo um, typically this is used for uh, in my my opinion I don't think you can paint with this uh, for dry stuff um, I am finding I use a paintbrush in the dollhouse to like kind of clean up the dust and stuff so I thought this would be a good option for that so yeah I don't even know what they call it and I'm sorry I don't have more details on this like I said guys this this hole has been sitting here a long time then I got a little thing of silverware this is pretty cute um, it's pretty detailed I mean they're real real tiny um, and I really like the kind of pattern that it has I bought one to see how it is but I think it's only a setting of four for four yeah there's yep it's just uh, four forks four teaspoons and four knives they really are pretty cute so my next Timu order, which I don't know when that'll be, um, probably pick up another set of these. But I just wanted to see how they were. Oh, and and the quality is pretty good. Uh, oops, you can you can snap them like that. Ah, oh, it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't break something, right? Um, so anyway, they're they're not as strong as you think, but they are. You know, you're not going to be bending them. Let's 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 say that. <laughs> So now I definitely have to get another set of those. I'm reaching in. I got a few more books. Uh, they're all individually. Okay. Um, this is Alice in Wonderland's Adventures. Do you think it needs the paper needs to be trimmed? Again, the covers are just uh, like a tad off. You know, they're never, never all perfect. Taming the Wolf. Just got a plain binding. And that's all that really matters to me. This one is Moby Dick. Cats are playing with the crinkly paper behind me. And I kind of like... As you can see that that's neat and then the last one the mysterious affair at styles I think that says a different binding and there's the back so yeah it's four more books for the collection um, they have so many different ones you know it's just at some point I'm gonna make my more of my own and uh, let me know if you want to see a video on that uh, nope this <laughs> this this is a Mod Podge but that was in the bag for a different reason um, just reaching in randomly this is some little dragon earrings this is for a different project or perhaps to wear in my ears but I like to get oh, I cannot get it open I cannot really wear certain metals so unless this is stainless hopefully you could see the little dragon they're just little posts but I thought for a project that these could be cute for little poles or you know piece of furniture or something over a door or whatever 
And they were probably 80 cents. I find there's a whole bunch. I mean, you put anything in there, search, and you'll come up with a pair of earrings for it. I even saw axolotl, if you know what an axolotl is. Axolotl earrings. And yes, they're in my cart. <laughs> this is just some doll hair um, for a future doll project. Again, I wasn't sure of the quality of any of these. So, I will just let you know right now. It's not bad. It's very soft. It's not really wiry or anything like that. Um, it's got a shine to it. See the shine? So, uh, I might have to play with that if I want to get it a little more dingy looking. Oh, this doesn't apply to anything here, but I saw this. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger um, for extra lighting, for filming. Figured I'd put a light bulb in there, and it's got a plug, so my table has, has a plug built into the table, so I thought, you know, it's a little switchy. I thought that might be a nice thing, but it's really small, so I don't know if that's going to work. It might, and it was probably cheap enough. Now here's some more hair. This has like a wave to it. It's black. Um, it's a lot longer than my doll even is that I would use this on. <laughs> Again, it's, ooh, it's creepily real feeling. It's not. It's nylon. Um, it's got a little wave to it. I think I thought, it, again, I think I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this. It looks like it, these are like braid waves. Yeah, it's still even a little braided. Sorry, the cat's pulling on my microphone wire. So, yeah. You know, again, it was probably cheap enough to try. The thing about, I don't know, used to be you could go into a dollhouse store, a craft store, an art store, you know, a mom and pop's doll type store, and buy these things and see them and touch them. And now, nowadays, it's great that you can get stuff so quickly. Like I ordered, I ordered a clipper, a groom, dog grooming clipper, uh, at like two o'clock one day, and I had it within 24 hours from Amazon the next day. So I mean, stuff like that's incredible, but. Uh, you know, you don't get to try things out. This is just another pair of earrings. I don't know if this is like nose piercing earring or, or what, but it's very, very narrow here and it doesn't fit where I need it to on my ears. So I'll just save it for a miniature. Uh, those are some crystals that I used at one point. A couple things left. I have a Fiskars paper trimmer and the blade went dull. I don't know if these will fit. i probably let you know at the end of the video uh, if these fit, but every time I go to pick up a Fiskars the replacement blade at Walmart, it's sold out. So I got this relatively cheap, so I thought I would try it out. I'm hoping that that fits in my Fisker. It doesn't really say. Again, it's Timu. Okay, and then I got... This is just a tiny little thing of plaid paper. Um, I, I, I don't know how this got in my cart. I was looking for plaid fabric. I must have clicked on this by mistake, I, or I just didn't take it out of my cart. But uh, yeah, so that's very nice. It's very cute. So I got that. Okay, I think I got two things left. Teensy, weensy, and I don't know 
what this schmutz is all over here. This is little tiny teacup and saucer and a little teaspoon. It's really, really cute. It's really, really tiny. <laughs> and it's a nice scale. It's good quality. I like it. It comes in a bunch of colors. Um, yeah. So I figured I'd get one of those. You can always use that. Again, I just wanted to see what... I'll probably get a couple more. Um, maybe try some different colors. But, you know, I wanted to really see it up close and see what size it was. Then, the other thing that I got, this is going to be, I think, hard to show you. I haven't actually seen it in person yet myself. Um, this is called Mirror Glue. I believe, only because I ordered, I have something else in my cart, that I'm not sure if this is it or not, um, is, should be, some very, uh, see it's got a thing out, very silver paint. I don't know why it says glue, but um, it look, almost looks like chrome, like really, really shiny. It almost looks like this. Very, very metallic. Again, it's not a lot, but I'm not, I'm not tempted to use it on something Let's try and see if I can use my nail to cut this open and peel it back. It's making it difficult on me. Let me see if I got any tools I can do this with. Um, yeah, I hate when things don't have the little pull tab. Oh yeah, I don't know if you could see that. That is really, really silver. See that? Again, the light is on, but it's really, really silver. Almost thermometer mercury silver. Let me see if I can, excuse me, let me just grab a paintbrush. Sorry. I'm going to paint. Yeah, let's just paint. The, oh, there you go. Really, really metallic. And, I mean... Sometimes a lot of metallic paints don't, uh, wow, I mean, it really looks like mercury from a thermometer. But a lot of times silver paint does, does, just doesn't have that silver, real silver look to it. So I got that. I think it's for nails. Not 100% sure. i got to put this somewhere now. So yeah, that's it, guys. I am just going to try this... Um, these blades and see if they fit and uh, yeah and then I'll upload this video so you guys can see it and then I will start filming the other two I believe one of them is a mystery box from it's from the uh, Facebook page affordable dollhouse I'll have to look it up again but you'll see in the next video get my Fiskars paper cutter I have also been seeing, I am terrible at making straight cuts. I mean, it doesn't matter how, how well I measure, how hard I try. Oh, it does fit. Look at that. It does fit. And for those of you that have um, a Fiskars cutter, these go for a lot of money at Walmart. I mean, when I say a lot of money, it's not, you know, it's not going to break the bank, but it's five to seven dollars I think for depending on whether you get one or two or you know they they have several packs but I can never find them so these were really really cheap maybe two bucks to and change for uh, the set I'm so happy I've got one now um, and I hope that they're nice and sharp Let's see if I have something to try and cut this is the map to the miniature museum in St. Louis. Let's just see. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. So there you go. So you can get your blades from Timu. Temu, Timu, whatever they're calling it these days. 
uh, that's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know. I know it was not a huge haul, but let me know uh, what your favorite item was in the haul. And stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.